Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on the Maxxis Icon tire and let you guys know if this is the tire for you. So as you can see here, this is a fresh tire mounted on the back of my Norco Optic. So I've ran a couple different tire combos on this bike already. Most recently, I was running a Maxxis Forecaster as a rear tire. So right off the bat, running the Forecaster as a rear compared to the Icon, I knew like right off the bat it's the wrong tire. Uh, number one, I felt it had a lot of rolling resistance. And number two, it had almost too much grip for the rear. Uh, now in rear tires, you typically want to go a little bit faster rolling and have the grippier tire up front. And with most riders, they actually want a tire that doesn't have too much grip in the back only because they actually want it to break traction. They want it to skid out. A lot of people like to fishtail it out and then swerve the other way when dealing with switchbacks. I'm not that type of rider. I just like to roll fast and, and climb fast and pedal hard and just get my best times, especially if I'm racing. Then a low rolling resistance tire in the rear is a must for me. All right, so starting off with the Icon, so the characteristics in general. Number one, it's a pretty dang fast tire. It's not the fastest tire. If you want the fastest tire, you should go with something like a Maxxis Crossmark or a Maxxis Aspen or even a Recon Race. Now this tire kind of sits somewhere in the middle of the spectrum as far as cross-country tires. So it's pretty fast and it's still pretty grippy, right? Those other tires like the Crossmark and the Aspen, they're not nearly as grippy as this Icon is. And then on the flip side, something like a Recon or a Forecaster, sure it's going to have a little bit more grip than this, but it's not going to roll as fast as this. So this tire is kind of more like a happy medium tire, which is why it's one of my favorite tires to run of all the tires I've ran out of all the brands. Kenda, Vittoria, Maxxis, Schwalbe, all the other tires that I've ran. Maxxis in general I just really like, and then the Icon especially I really like. Uh, again, it just has so many characteristics that fit a lot of different variations of the trails that I ride. Again, either if I'm racing or if I'm just riding and just having fun, the Icon always performs at its best and brings out the best rider in myself as well. So it makes a really good tire because it's really fast rolling and I can still get grip. It's got pretty substantial cornering knobs as well so when I'm cornering I don't lose traction. Now I have run this as a front tire and the characteristics as a front tire are a little bit different. Um, I'll go into that in a different video but this one here is just talking about it in the rear. So in the center you have these larger more spaced out knobs and then the spacing in between each knob is not very significant as well. You also have intermediate knobs just adjacent to those uh, where that spacing is so that really almost gives you a continuous pattern when rolling on flats, especially on hard pack or even pavement, it rolls really smooth. And again, because it does have those intermittent spaces, it is pretty good for mud clearing. And it also offers just a little bit of grip, just enough, especially for a rear tire. Now the size of this tire is a 29 by 2.35. So it's got a really big casing. Um, I just installed this yesterday. So I've got about 45 PSI in here. So it's really, really stretching out right now. Uh, once it fully sets, I'm going to drop it back down to like say 25 and it's just going to really really just hit that sweet spot as far as compliance and rolling resistance. See, so yeah, I'm using my little cheapy caliper here. Let's go ahead and check the center knobs. So the height of the center knob is about just over two millimeters and then the height of the cornering knobs, the shoulder knobs, that's up to just under five millimeters. So there's quite a bit of gap there. And each one of these intermittent knobs, it's a little bit taller as you get to the very corner of the tire. Now, like I said, there's about 45 PSI in this tire right now. Let's go ahead and check this casing really quick for width. And that's looking at about 59.5 millimeters. Uh, these are 29 millimeter width rims, just to give you some context and then also Let's check the overall height of this tire here, including the rim. That's looking at 75 millimeters for the total rim, which is a WTB I-29. Um, that's going from the knob. Let's check the actual casing height with the rim included. So that's looking at about 72 and a half. So yeah, technically about 2.5 millimeters for the actual knob height for the center tread. All right, so who is the Maxxis Icon tire for? So number one, if you ride cross-country trails, 
this is probably going to be a very very good tire for you running the rear. Now if you're a cross country racer but you don't want to sacrifice traction, again the Icon is a very good tire for you. Now if you want the very fastest tire and you want to stick with Maxxis, I would recommend either an Aspen, a Crossmark, or a Recon Race. If you want a tiny bit more grip than this, I would go with something like an Ardent Race. Uh, that tread pattern looks very close to this one, but the knobs are just a little bit thicker. It's got a little bit taller shoulder knobs, uh, but you do sacrifice a little bit of weight for that tire. So it's kind of more of a juggling game and trying to see where in that spectrum you lie in as far as your riding style and what you want to get out of a tire. So for me, the Icon actually checks every single box that I want in a tire. So number one, it's pretty fast rolling. Number two, it's got pretty good grip. Number three, it's very compliant. Number four, it's got a very nice casing. Uh, number five, this one does have 3C and it does have exo protection, so it's very durable. I've only cut the sidewall on one of these tires once, and that was only because I was doing a race out in Monrovia and it just had a bunch of sharp rocks. I just sliced the sidewall, uh, unfortunately. And that tire was already probably about two years old, so again, the durability of these tires is really, really excellent. All right, you guys, so that was my feedback on the Maxxis Icon as a rear tire. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. As usual, please like and comment with your feedback below and let me know if there's another tire you recommend I check out and I'll keep that in mind. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.